Parties aren't the only ones that have been doing heavy campaigning over the past week. Other parties in southwestern Ontario include the Freedom Party, the Libertarian Party, and the Family Coalition Party. And even if these parties don't win any seats, the big three are very concerned about losing valuable votes to them. The Freedom Party is no stranger to the people of London. The party's activist policy has kept it in the public eye, such as when they collected garbage in protest of that strike. Their platform includes the Sunday shopping issue and a business improvement area plan. And Robert Metz, the Ontario Party leader, believes that a party should practice what it preaches. The product we're selling isn't simply a theory. It works in practice. And we believe that the theories of the major three parties do not work in practice, as is very well evidenced by their, the, the current deficit spending and the promises that they cannot keep and the eventuality of all those promises that look good now that they won't look so good in the future. Sarnia candidate Margaret Coe has reason to believe that her future with the Libertarian Party is bright as well. In the last provincial election, no one expected her to get more than 100 votes. She received 800, and she's expecting much more success. Our main platform is more freedom through less government. We want to reduce taxes, we want to reduce the size of government, and we want to have greater freedom of choice in our society. The Family Coalition Party is only a month and a half old and has raised some eyebrows already by tackling the pro-life issue. But Sarnia candidate Terry Burrell says that this is not the foundation of its platform. Well, I think we want to stress the fact that we are willing to stand up for Christian morality and um, that is what we feel is, is really lacking in the, other, in the other three parties, three major parties. They do not seem to be willing to stand up for the rights of especially the unborn, but a, a lot of other moral rights as well. Dave Randorf, TV London News.